Consider now an example. Let's say you want to reduce the cost of your Amazon EC2 usage. You decide that you want to stop instances at a predefined time, for example, at night when no one is accessing them. And then you want to start the instance back up in the morning before the work starts. In this situation, you could configure an AWS Lambda and Amazon CloudWatch event to help you to accomplish these functionality. And this is what will happen. A CloudWatch event is scheduled to run a Lambda function to stop your EC2 instance at, for example, 22 GMT at midnight. And the Lambda function is triggered and runs with the IAM role that gives the function permission to stop the EC2 instances. The EC2 instances enter the stopped state later at, for example, 5 a.m. GMT. A CloudWatch event is scheduled to run a Lambda function to start the EC2 instances and the Lambda function is triggered and runs with the IAM role that gives its permission to start the EC2 instances. The EC2 instances enter the running state. And this is how we do it in the console. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the AWS management console. You can see there is a serverless application and there is Lambda. So once we select Lambda, we want to create a function. We need to give this function a name and that function will be a Python 3.8. Then what we need to do is to configure the function of the AWS Lambda. So in the first task, we are going to configure, after we create the Lambda function, we are going to configure a trigger for that Lambda function. So let us create a function. Now we need to select an existing role. Now if you are using this from a root account, you will be able to create a predefined role. You don't need to select the role that I have here in my lab setup. And now we want to configure the trigger. The trigger is going to link a CloudWatch event using the event bridge with AWS Lambda. So let us select event bridge. And now we want to make sure that we are going to select to create a new role because we don't have any role predefined. The next thing is we are going to put and to create a new rule and that rule every minute we will, where we will schedule the expression and the expression rate will be one minute. So this is more realistic, a schedule based stopinator lambda function, which will be triggered by using cron expression instead of a rate expression. For the purpose of this demo, we can use a rate expression to ensure that the lambda function will be triggered soon enough that you can see the result. We don't need to wait for a long time. Now let us go to the Lambda function, to the code tab, and in the code tab, we delete the existing one, and we will put the code for the demo. I'm going to make this code available for you so you can download and use it. In this code, we need to replace two things. We have to replace the region code, and we have to replace the instance ID. And then we need to go back to the EC2 instance in US East North Virginia, and from there, we want to copy the instance ID and we paste it inside the square bracket inside our Python code in the Lambda function. And then we press deploy. And once we deploy the function, we are going to wait for a few minutes to see the result. Now, you could also go to the Lambda and test your code using the test functionality that you have in the Lambda uh, console. And you could also go to the monitoring tab and from the monitoring tab, you will be able if there is any error in your code or if there is any error in the invocation of the function. Now, as you can see now, the function has been invoked for one time in the monitoring tab. And we want to go now to the AWS console to verify that our EC2 is stopped by the Lambda function. You could also create a test event. And these are very useful if you have a very complex code you want to test before deploying to make sure that everything is working in a proper way. So that's all about Lambda Function, guys. Thank you for seeing this video and see you in the next one.